Today on Tech Week, we'll take a look at two very different online free screen recorders. The first, Screen Toaster, and the second, Screencast-O-Matic. All this and more straight ahead today on Tech Week. And welcome back. We're going to first start with ScreenToaster.com. Keep in mind that we have used both of these videos for several tech weeks, and right now we are not recording with either one. We're using Camtasia Studio. Camtasia Studio is not a free software, but both Screen Toaster and Screencast Omatic are free, and they're both online. You need to have an account for Screen Toaster. So once you log in to your account, you can go ahead and start recording. Once you're logged in, you can click the Start Recording button. This slows down your internet quite a bit with Screen Toaster compared to Screencast-O-Matic. Okay, and here we are in the main Screen Toaster recording window after the Java applet has loaded. It says Screen Toaster is ready to record, and here's your settings. You can choose audio. You can choose to put a webcam with it. And you can choose to select a rectangular area or record your full desktop. For this, we're going to record the full desktop. What you are seeing right now is recorded with Screen Toaster. Um, we're just going to show you just a few things here in Windows. Uh, to record Screen Toaster. Now Screen Toaster is taking the audio and the video and it's uploading it to their server as we speak. So we'll just go over, open up a new tab. You can see our internet and the programs running slower because it's sending all of this uh, through the bandwidth and so if you're playing an online game or something and you're trying to record that this is not going to work the best for you because it uses lots of bandwidth. If you want to pause the uploading, you push Alt-S and it'll pause it and then all the pages will load quicker. Um, so everything is a little slower through the system. And here we're looking at YouTube with uh, Screen Toaster quality. Screen Toaster is not in high definition. Um, so let's go ahead and stop our recording and export this through Screen Toaster. Okay, and we're going to hit stop recording. We're back in Camtasia. And this is what we just recorded. This is what you just saw. And you can upload it direct to YouTube or you can save it as a .mov file. We're going to choose that and this way we can edit it and it's going to export it and then download it. Okay, now we're going to try recording with Screencast-O-Matic. You do not need an account for Screencast-O-Matic. You just simply hit the Create button. And once again, this is another Java applet. Now, Screencast-O-Matic allows you to choose a microphone and test it. If you test it, you can record in and it'll play back. And it allows you to choose your capture size. You can choose full screen and any of these. And then now it has small HD and medium HD. For a few of the tutorials, before we had Camtasia, we used uh, the Screencast-O-Matic here. And it looked pretty good. For free and for web-based, it was hard to beat. So we'll just show you how to use this here. We're going to click the Medium HD, and we're going to test the microphone. This is a test. Four, three, two, one. This is a test. Four, three, two, one. And there we go. It's set up with the mic and 
and simply hit go. Now because we have something selected that is not the entire size of the screen, we get this little dialog box here. What this allows us to do is to move the recording around. So if we have this in the recording and say we want something up here, we just take the bottom and move it up in the middle of the recording and it moves it up and then we can reposition it and it'll reposition. This is your record, your pause and your play and it has a 15 minute maximum and then once you're done with that you click done. So we're going to turn this on and we'll show you what the quality looks like here. Okay, and we're now capturing at 5.5 frames a second with Screencast-O-Matic. And like I told you with the pans, if we, we want to pan up here, pan over here, all that's controlled with that, that bottom bar. And this is the quality of Screencast-O-Matic medium high definition. If we wanted to make the area smaller, we'd choose small. Now you can't scale this, um, but it does fit the entire high definition. It's the correct frame rate and everything that it needs for YouTube to recognize it as high definition if you don't do any editing to it. But then again, it's easy to edit with this and it has pretty good quality. We'll just take you over to the Screen Toaster website and you can see the quality of that versus the quality with Screen Toaster itself and the Screencast-O-Matic website and again we're using Screencast-O-Matic to record this and overall we like Screencast-O-Matic. It's really easy to use. It's nice and friendly and it works great. Okay, what you just saw was recorded with Screencast-O-Matic and now we're back into Camtasia to show you what we do afterwards. We're going to hit the Done button because we're done recording and it's going to bring us to this little dialog box. We can upload to Screencast-O-Matic, upload to YouTube in HD and that'll ask you for your username password on YouTube and it'll upload it for you. You can export it you can go back or cut it down and you can discard it and create another screencast. So we're going to hit the export movie so we can show you guys what this looks like. What you just saw was what we recorded here and what we're downloading right now, if that makes sense to you. It has, you can choose flash, you can choose AVI file or a QuickTime MP4. We're just going to choose a QuickTime MP4 and you can title it. I really don't think it matters. And you want the full size, uh, show notes, show mouse cursor, show uh, mouse clicks. And click start to export your movie. In that dialog box you were able to preview your entire movie. It'll ask you where to save it. After saving it, it exports and it compresses. The compression on this is great. It's a small enough file to work with, a small enough file to download, and uh, Screencast-O-Matic does not slow down your internet like Screen Toaster does. It slows it down just a hair, but not near as bad as Screen Toaster, and the quality is much better. So if you're planning on recording your screen, we recommend you using Screencast-O-Matic because it gets the job done. I'm Jacob at TechWeek and thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to us at youtube.com slash techweekreview. Visit us at youtube.com slash techweekreview for tutorials and more.